porn ruins your perspective. You know, many people really don't understand that when you are addicted to pornography, it programs you in such a deep way that your complete perspective is changed for the worse. You see, what's supposed to be a normal point of view for you towards things in life, towards people, towards situations, towards statements, many different things I can name. It gets ruined when you are addicted to pornography. You see, porn gonna take your mind to a place that is always perverted, that is always lustful, that is always negative and always filthy. You see, pornography is not something that when you watch it, you could just go on about your life and go on throughout the years being stuck on this thing and thinking that it's just going to be something that's in your life or something that's helping you. No. When you add pornography to your life, you start dragging yourself down. You start headed down a bad road and you start putting your mind in a place where it's no longer safe for you to try and process things the way that others do who have never watched pornography. See, when you try to, you know, look at it from somebody's point of view that's never watched porn, you gonna automatically take your mind to the worst place. Somebody could joke about something. First place your mind goes is to sexual things. Somebody could do a certain thing in a certain way, move a certain way. First place your mind goes is to perverted things. You could be looking at something that's supposed to be all about safe and regular things. Now your mind goes straight to the gutter. It goes to the place where lust is the first thing you think about. You see, when it comes to women, for the men, once you see a woman, you don't look at her as just attractive. You begin to undress her in your mind. You begin to look at her as just a sexual object. You begin to look at her as something you just want sex with. When it comes to being on social media, you don't want to just get on social media and look at regular things. You don't want to look at stuff that's safe when it comes to entertainment. Instead, you want to go look at half-naked women. You want to go look at women that's, you know, on that doing things that are seductive. When it comes to life, period, it could get to a point where things are boring to you and not exciting to you and not entertaining to you because you are stuck off in pornography. Now the most entertainment that you ever gonna know is pornography. And for the women, it's vice versa when it comes to men. They only wanna look at things that are seductive. They start looking at men as sexual objects. They start being very lustful. They had this high craving and, and, and whatever they wanna call this high sex drive. No, you are perverted because of pornography. Pornography ruins your perspective. You know, it's many people that's not aware of this. They think it's just society that program them today. But they don't even realize society affected by this pornography as well. They think it's just the normal. No, it's the normal because all these people around you, including you, have been hooked to pornography. And that's not good. And if you are somebody that's trying to quit, I hope that you have realized by now how much pornography has really ruined your perspective. Why is it that we can't look at the opposite sex that we are attracted to with us? This, you know, these lustful thoughts coming. Don't you hate that? I hated it when I wanted to get away from pornography. I'm not saying I'm not attracted to women. I'm not saying I'm not sexually attracted to women. Of course, I'm a straight man, 100% a straight man. Always gonna be. And I always was and I always is and am right now 100%, trust me. But one thing about it is pornography ruined my perspective when it came to looking at them normal. I wanted sex immediately, all types of different stuff. And I ain't saying there was no, you know, no, no crazy stuff like rape or none of that nature, you know, crossed my mind. But when it came to sexual things, you know, 
my mind went straight to that when it came to women. And I looked at them really as sex objects. And I wanted to deal with them because of that. And it could be the same for you. And if you are somebody that's completely away from the pornography, do you understand what I'm saying? Because all three things be together. Pornography really ruins somebody. It ruins a child, it ruins a teenager, it ruins a grown person, it ruins an elderly person, it ruins a male, it ruins a female, it ruins you, and then it starts ruining things around you. It can ruin your connections, it can ruin you and your, your, you know, just regular things that you do throughout the day. It can ruin your fun. It can ruin all types of stuff, and you don't want no problem. So just understand that. Many people don't talk about how pornography ruins things. Some people, they see it, but they laugh it off. It's nothing funny about it. It's no joke about it. It's nothing to joke about. When somebody get in a certain mindset because of porn, when somebody get stuck off in this pornography, when they get addicted and they want to be free, it's really, you know, it could be a very frustrating thing, a very frustrating process because you want to get your perspective to a normal place. And for some people, they never even could remember how the normal is supposed to feel. They have to do a lot of unwind like I had did because I started off on pornography very young. And if you have two, then you understand. But if you started late, you'll realize, okay, well, I started at 30, 40 years old, all the way up to before then, you know, my mind was normal. I want to go back there. But for somebody like that, that was like me, that was stuck up in there at an early age, do you know how much unwind I had to do, how much studying and searching I had to do, how much God had to do on me? I don't want you to be that person. If you are, you could be delivered set free in the name of Jesus. Just understand that. But just know it was a lot of work. That pornography is dangerous. It's damaging. Leave it behind. Get away from it. And if you're in a fight right now, or you slip in the fall, keep calling on God, keep moving forward. If you haven't started the process, then I encourage you today to start. I encourage you right now to start. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start right now. Go to God. Ask for grace and mercy and help to get away from this point. Ask for the Holy Spirit to help you. The blood of Jesus Christ is a thing that covers us all and it's also powerful enough to free us from anything. It's already done. We just got to walk in them scriptures and walk by the word that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And hold on to that. And if you're away from the point, stay away. Don't even think about going back. Forget them urges, forget the thoughts, forget anything that tried to cross your mind. Stay free in the name of Jesus and be that person that is completely away from and living a new lifestyle. Away from the point. I pray this video is blessed and I pray you like, subscribe, and comment. Link in the description for the Instagram and for the cash app if you're led to make a donation. I pray you just be blessed in Jesus' name.